Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Aganaut and today I'm going to show you a game that I played for most of my childhood. That game, as you can see, is Space Rangers. It's actually a series of games. Space Rangers 2 and 1, I played the most. I think Dominators was, uh, Rise of the Dominators was my favourite, if I recall correctly. I played it since it was released to a couple of years, well, about, about like five years ago, I think. Anyways, if you haven't heard of the, the, this particular game, or series of games, I'm going to take a look at this one in particular, is Space Rangers HD A War Apart. Essentially, it's a modernized version of what I used to play, available now on Steam, because the I think the other games are not exactly that easy to find. Uh, I think I have a physical copy of, uh, like, a disc of one of them, somewhere, I probably lost it, but it's somewhere I think I have it. Anyways, this you can find on Steam, and um, essentially it's optimized to run better on modern computers, it's uh, had a lot of improvements in terms of the UI, added a couple of new elements to the game, like um, chip modules, hull types, etc, etc. It also has a new pirate quest line and a new pirate faction, which wasn't there when I played it all those years ago. Uh, that's just, it's better than what the, the initial game was. It isn't, they didn't exactly change anything core with the game, they just added a couple of things on top to make it that extra bit better. Anyways, so that, that's the game we're going to be looking at today. Uh, but if you haven't heard of Space Rangers, I'm going to do a sort of semi-in-depth discussion on all the different elements of the game, and trust me, there are tons. And uh, if you have, then uh, stick around and I'll tell you what I exactly think of the game and what I thought of it back then and uh, why I think this is an incredible game, even by today's standards. Not just this uh, A War Apart edition, but like any of them, really. I think that even in 2016, they are incredibly good games. So, without further ado, let's begin. Space Rangers is a game that's very difficult to define in terms of its genre. For most part, this is a 2.5D space RPG. It's not a simulator by any stretch of the imagination, so it's just a space-based RPG, which is incredibly fun to say. Essentially, you are a space ranger. Uh, what they are is well explained in the very intro of the game, so I won't bother you with that. But uh, you join me here, Ranger Bojo, as I'm being chased by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 different authority vessels trying to kill me because I'm a pirate. Yeah, we're going to get into that in a bit, but until then, uh, essentially, the game is allowing you to do whatever the hell you want in this world that it's set up. Now, this world is set up rather brilliantly, to begin with, but uh, I'm going to talk about more, the, uh, more of the game mechanics and, and stuff in a separate segment of the, uh, the video that I have, um, you know, scripted and planned out, but until, until that comes in a couple of minutes, let me just tell you about the, the game in general. It's incredibly fun, and the only problem that might slightly be present is the fact that it's not exactly easy to see how good the game is. What do I mean by this? You look at screenshots, you look at gameplay, even this one the one you're looking at right now. It doesn't look that incredible, right? I know, I know. If you look at screenshots and stuff, it, they look really not that special. I mean, the game looks fine, but it doesn't look anything like that, like anything that will blow your mind away. Well, hopefully by watching this video you can sort of see why, um... How do I put this? Why, uh... There is a lot more to, to this than initially meets the eye. So... What I really am impressed about in this game is, and it's still impressing me to this very day, is the amount of freedom it gives you. You can be whatever the hell you want, okay? Again, more on this and the details of this in a second, but essentially, you have a ship, and you can do whatever the hell you want with it. If you want to attack a planet, well, you can actually invade a planet on your own. I mean, you're one guy. 
Okay, fair enough, you can't do that. But if you want to shoot absolutely everything that comes in weapons range, you can do that. Why you want to do that, I don't know, but you can. And if you want to trade, if you want to talk with people, if you want to be a fighter pilot, if you want to be an evil scumbag that just goes off hunting and killing people, you can do all of those things. And it is rather impressive. Anyways, we're here at one of the pirate bases, and this is how most of your dialogue is done in the game. So, on to the, I guess, review-ish type of the, the, the video where I will analyse every segment of the game in detail, and you'll understand why this is important if you haven't seen the game. So, I said for the most part this is a space-based RPG. One quarter of the game is in space. Yes, one quarter of the game. Mind you, it's where you spend most of your time, you know, flying around and killing people. And killing Dominators and stuff. Speaking of which, the Dominators, if I can take a look at the map. There we go. The Dominators are the ones in grey here on the map. They control these se uh, these sectors. They are um, super, a super advanced uh, race of AI, basically. It's divided into three segments, and they're off to conquer the galaxy. The other races of um, humanoid... Yeah, I guess you could call them humanoid um, beings around the galaxy scattered all over the place. Are trying, obviously, to stop them. Now, you cannot join the Dominators, obviously, because they want to eradicate all organic life. Uh, you, know, you really, really have no business joining them. That's one of the, like, the only things you can't do in this game, politically speaking. You can, of course, um, join the army and join the military. Fair enough. Yeah, you, can, you can fight the Dominators like that. But uh, this galaxy is not waiting on a hero like Boney Tyler, right? They're trying their damnedest to, um, you know, fix the situation, I suppose. You're not special in this game. Well, you're a space ranger, so you kind of are, but no. These are all the Space Rangers that I've met. I'm one of the worst. Yeah, this is me. I am no different from any of these guys here. I'm a Space Ranger like they are. This guy, I'm not the hero of this galaxy. I am a character within this world that they have constructed. Which I find incredibly, incredibly appealing. Anyways. I'm going to jump off to the next star system here, and I'm going to talk about the actual ship. Uh, and later I'm going to talk about the other three quarters of uh, the game. So yeah, these are all pirate vessels. This is a pirate-controlled sector, and uh, god damn, there's, there's a lot of us. Anyways, so you have your vessel, and these are all your modules. This is your hull. This is the base of your ship, obviously. It has its cargo capacity, and as well as some damage resistance, stuff like that, but uh, hit points as well are very important. So this has 550 capacity, which means 550 hit points until it blows up. Up here you station your, you, you put down your weapons, here is the engine and the fuel tank, which can all be upgraded of course, there's tons of different weapons, right now I have these three, or four I mean, but these are the same weapon and two different slots. This is a shield, a gripper, this is your cargo bay where you can put uh, different things that you either want to trade or stuff that you pick up by blowing people up, and a scanner, as well as this small thing here that doesn't exactly matter too much. So that's the ship itself, and of course there are tons of, of different um, modules and stuff that you can put on it, but that's, you know, that's just... you, you expect stuff like this. This is your character, this is where the RPG element comes in. Uh, I am a pirate, and this is my pirate rank right here, as you can see. These are my skills. By blowing up dominators and fighting this super, this threat that I guess the entire galaxy is facing, even the pirates are trying to wipe them out and are rewarding their, uh... Huh, how do you call them? Their, uh, members, yes, the members of their society by, um, when you, when you kill a, a, a dominator you are rewarded. Okay, sorry, I'm a bit distracted. Uh, my apologies. Uh, these... Hello, I have never seen this ship. Okay, one thing after the next. This wasn't here when I play when I when I used to play. 
There, there were fewer halt types. Anyway, it's nice to see. Regardless. The Dominator... They... The, the Dominators, they give you experience points when you kill them. Also killing other players... Well, I say other players. Not other players. Other civilian craft, uh, fighter pilots, other pirates even. Everything pretty much you do, as well as completing quests for the government. Or governments, I suppose. Plural. Gives you experience points, which then you use to rank uh, and level up your character. Fairly obvious, right? On the planets themselves, you have a government screen, which they will, as you can see here, they will give you different tasks. You can put them easier and harder. You, you can postpone them. You can take the missions. You can also trade if you wish. Uh, this means that they are, I think, they want to buy narcotics from you, not sell them, I believe. This is what this means. In, yeah, they want to buy narcotics, not sell them. Anyways, so you can pick up a trade ship, if you will, if you wish, or a diplomat ship, and you can be the diplomat. You don't have to be this hero that the galaxy wants and or needs. You can be just a dude. And if you don't find that appealing, well, you have to start off somewhere, right? You can't start off as the biggest badass in the galaxy. Ergo, you can start off as a trader. And make your fortune like that. You can also, if you wish, start off immediately as a warrior. And in fact, as you, if you complete the tutorial segment of the game, you will be fairly well off, if I'm honest. Uh, you'll have a, a ship of your own to control. Well, not this one, like one more. Like you, You'll have a, a co-pilot. No, not a co-pilot, what is it called? A wingman, yes. You'll have a wingman. Which is also another feature in the game that comes pretty late, and you know, if you skip the tutorial, it's very difficult to acquire new wingmen. But uh, yes, you can assemble a group of ships and go with them. As far as the combat is concerned, hopefully I can show you some in a minute. So I'm going to skip to that, I believe. And show you the combat, I will indeed. But uh, before that, let's address this cheat thing, because I just thought of it and people are probably going to ask me. Yes, I did give myself some money to buy slightly better equipment so I can show you guys the actual combat and the, the contents therein. Uh, this is just a, a showcase of, of the game, I suppose, which uh, I hope you'll understand why I'm doing this. Anyways. That's a Dominator Annihilator. Yes, it is. Sorry, Dominion, not Dominator. God, Dominators would be wrecking us right now. That's a Dominion Annihilator. That's an authority vessel. It came to... Well, I... Guess what it came to do, okay? Let's show you some combat. It came along with four or five of these trade ships, which I'm going to attack this one. Because uh, these guys, they're nations I have actually okay relationship, uh, an okay relationship with. So let's go ahead and attack you with everything I have. What do you have on your ship? Of course I'm using my scanner to check out what he has in his ship, and the game is turn-based, if that wasn't blindingly obvious. You can see all sorts of chatter down here, which I'm not particularly interested. I'm going after my prey. There we go. Have I, am I the only one trying to murder you? Do you have a repair? Yes, he's Repairing 23 hit points per tick. Amusing. However, oh, this is hardly a fair fight, is it? There's like seven or eight of us engaging him. Help, we're pirates. I never never said that it's going to be a fair fight. Anyways, the battle is commencing, and uh, it is turn-based, as I already said. You... Essentially, all you can do is target your weapons at the enemy, and if you want to, you can manually sort of control the ship a little bit by giving it specific orders like this to see if it can it can close to weapons range a little bit faster, but that's pretty much everything. It's, um, it's not a super advanced combat system, and you can't exactly dodge roll out of, out of the way of missiles or something like that, which may or may not be unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. Anyways, easy enough. No, I'm too busy, I don't want to fight him, because he's, uh... I have no problem with his nation, and we can, of course, pick up all the cargo after we've, uh... Dealt with the enemy. There we go. I say enemies. So we, we murdered an innocent traitor. I, I know. I know. It's fine. 
Uh, you can see the amount of lasers. They're a bit distracting, okay? So that was pretty much the combat. That's how it goes most of the time. Anyways, on to other features in the game, because this is a quarter of the game right now you're seeing in... in um, you've seen thus far, just a quarter of the game's features. Occasionally, for different governments, you will get the task to enter an RTS stage. As well as certain elements of the campaign do that, you know, if, you, if you're fighting, actively campaigning against the Dominators and stuff like that, you will get that as well, probably. The RTS element I'm not even going to touch upon, because if I did, it would take hours to make this video, and it would be several hours long. So, unfortunately, not today, maybe a different time. But, a sort of brief explanation. The RTS element is composed, is rather simplistic, for now, for, for modern day standards, of course, but uh, it's not obligatory, you don't have to do it, but if you want to, it's there. Essentially, it's like this. You have a design. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm dragging on my senses, senses a little bit, trying to think of what I'm going to say. My, my apologies, I'll, try, I'll endeavor to stop. What, are you trying to... He's trying to murder me. He is. He's a pirate that's trying to murder me. He's... Why would you want to murder me? Okay, let's get some help here. Another feature then, well, RTS on it in a minute, uh, due to the situation that we have here. You, yes, you can also talk to all these pirates and either trade with them, try and rob them, extort them for money, or just simply warn them that you're going to attack them or something like that. And you can also ask, for, ask them to attack certain pirates with you together. So, the, the chances of finding a pirate willing to attack another pirate in this system are fairly slim, but I can try. Yep, no. I'm not even going to try anymore. I'm, I, I can probably take him on my own, right? I think. He doesn't have shields. Two fragmentation cannons and a flux. Yeah, I think I can take him on. Anyways. Where was I going with this? Okay, so that, that said... RTS element and the um, real time, yeah, RTS element of the game. You have a design stage and a combat stage, so to speak. There's also elements of base building. You essentially build turrets to defend your construction facilities. You, in, in one stage, I guess, I think we can call it a stage. It's not exactly a specific part, but you basically you pause the game and do it. You build your own robots. Yes, it's done with robots, there's no actual infantry, there's no brigades, you build individual robots, and that's how the fighting works. These individual robots you build are... there's a high degree of customization for them. You can put different weapons on them, you can do a load of things, different, you know, the way they move, the way their holes are shaped, stuff like that. You can customize all of that. But, eventually, uh, you need to decide whether you want to have big, expensive, but few robots, or cheap, but many. And there's different styles you can apply, and it's, it's fairly challenging, actually, to uh, defeat all the opponents that you may find on one map. But that's not all. There's also a third-person action element to that particular part of the game, because... Believe it or not, you can actually control these robots. Yes, you can. You can control them, and you enter a third-person mode, and the bonuses that the robots get when you actually control them is, well, for one, you're not stupid, and you can actually take cover, presumably, but uh, they also get bonus weapon damage and bonus range. However, when you're controlling a robot, obviously you can't issue any move orders to all the others, you can't build and stuff like that. There's also a... well, it's... it's there's no particular need to, to talk about the, the specific feature about in the game for much longer, but uh, there is certain depth to it, though it's nothing super advanced. But that's not all. That's uh, two quarters of the game, I suppose you would call them. Third quarter of the game is text-based. Yes, this game actually turns into a text-based RPG. You might think that's kind of boring, and I would tend to agree, 
most of the time. Text-based games in 2016 are not entirely great. But they're done really well here. They're done really, really well. If you are imprisoned or receive a very special task from one of the governments, what you can do is enter on a planet's surface or a prison or somewhere, something like that, and you get to play in a text-based game. And it's also, again, it keeps with the style of, the, of Space Rangers. It gives you freedom. You can play a witty character. You can play a scumbag. You can play... Well, you can play whatever the hell you want, if I'm honest. And it's very, very encouraging to see indeed. And in fact, I might actually show you that. Right now, the, the prison sort of um, style. You can play... You can, you can do whatever the hell you want, okay? We, we've gotten that out of the way previously. So, can I not... Uh, huh. I believe to have uh, screwed myself over, though it, it was somewhat intentional. Fourth and final part of the game, black holes. When you enter a black hole, you it's a small, very small segment of the game, but it exists nonetheless. And the entire gist of it is, I suppose, it's, it's real-time, unlike this, which is turn-based. And you don't really control your ship too much in terms of, you know, the dodges and the fighting like that. You do have a decent amount of control over your ship, but um, most of it is sort of done for you. The just there is, it's real time, and you completely you have complete control of the ship. You're the one that dodges, you're the one that fires, and stuff like that. It's uh, certainly very, very different. Anyways, I am about to die here, which uh, is rather unfortunate. I don't think I can un outrun these guys. Uh, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna have to land on one of the planets and uh, surrender myself to the authorities there. I guess I'll show you the text based stuff. Please tell me this is a plan I can land on. Yes, it is. Okay, great. Go. Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna wreck my engine, aren't I? Uh, okay, one more. Three, seven, one, four, 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 two, two. Should be enough to outrun him. Hopefully. Hopefully. Nope. He's refusing to fire on me for some reason. I think they want me to... They do, don't they? They want me to land on the planet. Okay. Well, whatever. And there you... you Actually, it's very rewarding. You get a bunch of stuff uh, for completing the... Uh, for completing the, the Black Hole mission. Anyways. Of course, they hate me, and the authorities have uh, grabbed me as soon as I exited my ship, and now we're going to prison. Ta-da! We're in a text-based game now. Yeah, are you convinced yet that this game is great? Uh, <laughs> again, I said in the, the start of the video, it's incredibly difficult to show. It's extremely addictive, there's a lot of depth to it, there's a real sense of progression. You go from this wimp basically this noob in space to a grizzled veteran that knows what's going on. There's um, a whole load of, of things to do. that You can do basically whatever the, the hell you want in this, in this universe here that they've constructed very, very well. And uh, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to show you about this entire game. We can actually play... Uh, try, you can try to run away. Yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. You're probably... 85 days of incarceration. Well, you can sit through 85 days of incarceration. However, here's the thing. You can actually get killed in this, um, in this prison, obviously, because you're thrown in here with the worst criminals in the galaxy, and you, you can be fairly, um, fairly dangerous. Anyways... It's a great game, it really is. I loved the hell out of it uh, all those years ago, and I still do. I think this is a great game, even by 2016 standards. And nostalgia just hit me like a truck when I saw this game and I, uh, on Steam, and I really wanted to pick it up again. And uh, 
and play it, uh, play around with it a little bit. Anyways, what do you guys think? Do you like the game? Do you have any questions about the game? Of course, if you do, please post them down in the comments below and uh, I will try and answer them. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, you have my full, full warm recommendations to, to try this out for yourself. It's a fairly cheap game now, of course, being as old as it is. And uh, yeah, there you go. Especially the War Apart edition. It's just, it's, they've improved any sort of minor complaints that I might have had with the uh, the previous games. But uh, yeah, there we go, that would be pretty much everything. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, what I would like to say is that this game, I would like to see a remake of this in 2016. Just don't mess with the core game mechanics, don't mess with the RTS too much, you can actually improve the RTS. I think the RTS element is the one that can be improved upon the most. Text-based, I like it to be text-based. I think it's um, it's okay if they want to do, if someone wants to do like an um, actual prison simulator or something like that when you're in here, like make it you know, a third-person um, action game or, well, not really an action game, but a third-person like RPG when you're in the simulator, that would be cool. But, of course, this is never going to happen because uh, I feel like the developers of the world have given up on this game ages ago, despite its popularity and people like myself swearing by this game. Anyways, that will be pretty much everything. Please remember to like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video, and uh, feel free to check out the rest of my channel. I do Fallout content, as well as the odd first impressions or review of a game. Uh, but that will be all. As I said, thank you for watching, and uh, next, until next time, take care, and bye-bye.